Hi everyone, it's Danny. Already a little update on my bubble film type orchid. I'll show you the tag. This is the Cirrhopetalum Elizabeth and Buckleberry. I ordered this orchid about a year and a half ago from Schwerter and I've managed to keep it quite healthy and alive. She's a great looking orchid, I might add. And some time ago I told you that I think it is producing a flower spike and then I kind of changed my mind because, you know, you don't really expect flower spikes from a brand new species of orchids you've never grown before. But you know what? It is confirmed this is a flower spike on this bulbophyllum type orchid. Now I'll show you some stills on the screen so you can see how a new growth looks like. The difference is that new growths are rather green and pretty glossy when they appear and they're pretty thick as well. As you can see, this growth is not green, it's not glossy, it's sort of, um, let's say maroon or brownish, light brown beige, I'm not good with colors. And also, it is not glossy quite at all, and if we look at the tip, already we can see some buds forming and distinguishing themselves. It's a bit freely, and the flower of this orchid is absolutely beautiful, it's quite freely in a way, hard to describe, so I'll just try to show you a picture on the screen right now. And you can imagine my excitement because this is the first time that um, I get a flower spike from a bulbophyllum type orchid. And really I didn't know what to expect. So the problem with this one was that at first I thought it was a, a new growth and I thought, well, the orchid will manage, it will find its way. And then it grew and grew and then I said, okay, I'm gonna lift it just in case. And then I kind of forgot about it and this new growth started to grow really, really fast. So what happened was the tip of this flower spike kind of touched the edge of the pot. It happened in one night. And when I got to it and I lifted up, I kind of ruined the tip. It's a little bit mushed right here. I'm sure nothing bad happened to it. It's not gonna die, but hopefully the flower will not be very, very damaged because it is a beautiful, beautiful flower. Alrighty, so I'll give you a super, super close-up right now so you can see exactly how it looks like. It appears that the spike has layers, pretty much like a um, Cattleya orchid when it's forming. But as I told you, it is not green and glossy, so it's not a new growth. Also, I think I can see a purplish tinge to it. And this flower should be pink-purple, something like that. So maybe they're already gaining colors. And of course the tip looks rather freely and appears to have quite a few buds forming. So as you can see, I tried to lift up the mother bulb using a packing peanut and this thing actually grows really, really fast. I might remove the packing peanut when this uh, flower spike grows further. Oh, and excuse that noise. But I guess it's time to wrap this video. Alrighty, so if you've enjoyed this video, then click like and share. If you want to see more videos from me, just click subscribe because I post daily. You can also leave me questions or suggestions for videos, whatever you'd like to know about orchids, in a comment below and I'll get back to you. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and you can talk to us in the forum section. And if you're wondering what to watch next, why not clicking on the right side of your screen to watch a video about a beautiful Phalaenopsis species, which is super fragrant. Alrighty, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!